My name is Lydia Blanchard and welcome to the Historic Grounds Room Museum. I'm the receptionist here and I'd like to welcome you to my museum. It's a wonderful small museum. It's a hidden treasure. Even a lot of the locals don't know that it's here. So we welcome you to come and take a look. It has a special room. It's called the luggage room that holds a lot of antique furniture. Throughout the museum you will find a lot of different collections. Some are owned by the museum and some are owned by the private collectors. You can come in and take a look at them, and every six months to eight months, we change the collection. We have some new exhibits that I know you would love having to do with the Asian Indians that used to roam the land here. My name is Fernando San Miguel, and uh, I've been working at the uh, museum since last year. My position out here just to uh, do the exhibits, to maintain the locomotive. I retired from the railroad. I worked 35 years. I'm from Brownsville. And uh, we have a locomotive right here that was built back in 1872 and ran to 1913. It ran from Brownsville to Port Isabel. It would charge, they would charge 25 cents to go from Brownsville to Port Isabel. It ran 25 miles an hour and they had different stops, different stations. This is only one of the locomotives, which is engine number one, as you can see the number up there, and there were four of them. Uh, the other three have not been found, but this is the only one that, was, that survived. Uh, the, the track itself, it's a 42-inch gauge. Nowadays, we're using 56 and a half because the locomotives are heavier, run a lot faster, and more traffic. So uh, what we see here, part of the uh, locomotive, I can show you a little bit of the uh, nomenclature of the locomotive. The front of the locomotive here is we call the cow, cow catcher. And uh, here you have the headlight with the number one and the smokestack. The, uh, the way it works is this is a steam locomotive. You have a fire box on the back side, which the, that's where you have all the fire, all the wood, all coal is being utilized. The blue portion of the locomotive is the, uh, the boiler. That's where all the water goes in there. It steams the, boil, the water, and then it comes right into your pistons, and that's what makes the uh, engine run. If you want to stop the locomotive, you release the, the steam, and it comes to a halt. The, um, the other good part about this locomotive is that this is the only one that still exists in the state of Texas and uh, we're very proud of it. 